Holy. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like almost all African Americans, talk show host Michael Strahan wanted to learn about his enslaved ancestors. We were able to take him back to his third great-grandparents, James and Winnie Shankle, who were born into slavery in the early 1800s, a journey that would prove deeply moving. But it's what his ancestors did when freedom came amazed us both. Now, Michael, this is incredible. Would you please read the transcribed section next to James's name? Value real estate, $200. Value personal estate, $125. I got a smile on my face, man. You make, I'm now, now I'm like, OK, I'm proud. We, <laughs> <laughs> we just wasn't accepting the situation with what it was. We were trying to, we were trying to, to come up, as they say. So, yeah, but well, how yeah. in the world did people who were slaves? How did you come up? In five years. I mean, I know now we look and go, whoa, but 1870, coming from a situation where you were the disenfranchised, where you were just much wasn't expected of you, or you were just property. Yeah. To be able to do that, I mean, I'm, I'm smiling. I'm, I'm happy. And you should be. Despite all they had endured, James and Winnie Shankle somehow managed to buy land and make a living. And that's not all they did. In 1867, just two years out of slavery, they launched a brand new town. Shankleville Community, named for Jim and Winnie Shankle, known as First Newton County Blacks to buy land to become local leaders after gaining freedom by emancipation. In 1867, they began buying land, and with associate Steve McBride, eventually owned over 4,000 acres. In their neighborhood were prosperous farms, churches, a cotton gin, grist mills, sawmills, schools, including McBride College, built by Steve McBride. Holy. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Wow! They reinvented themselves almost overnight. They went from being a slave to a landowner. That's amazing. And that, when you're building, like you say, a prosperous farm, you're building churches, you're building a cotton gin, grist mills, sawmills, schools, you're building things that they weren't supposed to have. Not at all. They're building businesses that they're not uh, supposed to be able to own, mm -hmm. because how can a slave mm -hmm. own this business, you know, not long after being free. Yeah, it's amazing. And, and, and it's prideful. Mm, it, yeah. The swagger I'm going to have when I walk out of here is going to be unlike anybody else. <laughs> wow. I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy, too. You have you have made a happy man <laughs> out of me. Discovering the stories of our ancestors can be a profoundly transformative experience, changing the way we see ourselves, our families, and our shared history. To see more incredible stories, click here.